Hello, and welcome to our new tutorial series for SolidWorks. SolidWorks is a solid modeling computer-aided design program that runs primarily on Microsoft Windows. SolidWorks is published by Dassault Systems. Initially it was released on November 1, 1995, that is 25 years ago. This is the interface we get once we start SolidWorks software. Here we have different options such as file view, tools and many other tools and shortcuts. We have options tab, where we can change many things according to our needs, which we will discuss later. Now we will look how to start a new part. For this we need to click file and then new. We will get three options in a separate tab. The first part in which we can create individual 3D models. Then we can assemble different parts in assembly option. Then we have drawing tab to present the detailed 2D presentation of products for manufacturing purpose. Once we click on the part and click OK, we get the new part interface. This is our part tree and we have different options in different tabs over here. The most important step is to mention or specify the units, for this we need to go here. And then select the unit system we want to work in. From here we can change the unit system directly. There are different icons such as zoom, fit, section view, isometric normal view and all. Under the glasses we have different visibility options to change the visibility according to our needs. Now we will start working on sketch. In the part tree we have three different planes and one origin, with the value 0, 0. So once we choose our plane we need to click and select the first option sketch. Now we are able to create a sketch on the selected plan. The sketch tab is now activated and we have various options such as line, circle and so on. Next, we will look at them separately, we will take line and go to the origin. Now SolidWorks helps us by giving the reference and at the bottom, we will get the coordinate of the point where my cursor is. After clicking the origin we need to click the next point, right click and select to end the line tool. We also get some relations as well. This is vertical relation. Now we have this midpoint relation. SolidWorks is a smart software and helps us a lot to create more precise drawings. To turn the relations on and off, we need to select this option. We can move the relation or we can select them and delete them individually. This time we will create a continuous sketch. Pick line tool and start from origin go upwards. then right side then bottom. 
If we continue and come back without clicking we can create an arc. This way we will complete this sketch using one single tool for lines and arcs both. Now some lines are black and some are blue. This means the black lines are defined and the rest are not. We will understand this with the help of dimensions. For this choose the dimension tool and click on the line for which you want to specify the dimension. We can type in the value or change it like this. Now defining dimension for every segment makes it fully defined and the sketch becomes defined. Making a sketch fully defined helps in achieving precision. We can fully define a sketch by this second method also, by going to display relations tool, but this method is not used widely as we define the dimensions, as per our needs, not automatically. I hope you guys are understanding the steps, and if you are facing any doubt just drop it in the comment section. Now once we have completed creating the sketch, simply exit the sketch, and under the tree we can rename the sketch we just created. After exiting the sketch, just go to Features and click Extrude, and we are able to get a 3D from our 2D. We will look Extrude tool in detail in future tutorials. I hope you are clear with the concepts, and in the next tutorial we will move forward with other tools. Using the mouse properly will give us the better control of our object, and will reduce our time taken to create particular part. So to rotate the object in SOLIDWORKS just press the middle wheel and keep it pressed while we drag the mouse to rotate using the mouse wheel. We use mouse to zoom, rotate and pan our object. To zoom in and out we need to scroll the mouse wheel. View orientation can also be used to change the viewer plane in which we need our object to be. We can choose top, left, front any orientation we want. We have the normal to option to make our object normal to a particular face. Now let's get back to sketching. Once we expand this we are able to see our sketch, and once we click on it, we can edit the previously made sketch. We can change the dimension according to our need, and we can update it. See again. Make sure to use the normal to option to minimize the error. In the next tutorial we will look about rectangle and other helpful tools. I hope the topic is clear and if you still face any doubt kindly use the comment section and I will reply as soon as possible. Kindly subscribe to our channel and watch complete tutorials.